Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Okay, so minutes before the press conference, I made a list of eight predictions of things that will happen around the press conference today for Tyson Fury, obviously with Dillian White not turning up. And, I, and of course, I put those eight predictions up here on YouTube in the community section. And out of those eight, I got five of them right. Why? Because Tyson is very, very predictable. And on one of the things I predicted is that Tyson Fury said that he will retire. And true enough, Tyson Fury has said that this will be his last fight and it will be against Dillian White. He's going to set off into the sunset. Actually, we'll get straight into his statement. This is what Tyson Fury had to say to the media hustle because he wasn't doing too many one-on-one -on -one interviews. Um, this is the final fight of my career. I'm retiring after this. $150 million in the bank. Healthy, young. I'm going to buy a massive yacht abroad. I'm retiring. I'm out. This is the final fight. I'm done. There you go. Title for statement. So why did I predict he was going to say that? Well, because I know Tyson Fury, that's why. And with the fact that Dillian White isn't, um, wasn't going to turn up to the press conference, I predicted that he was going to say this because they're desperate for the sales. Of course they are. This is why Frank Warren is effing and jeffing all over the place, because he's worried about him not making money back on this particular fight, Tyson Fury. And again, let's be honest, that press conference was very, very subpar. It was. Did it pique people's interest to run out there and go, you know what, I definitely want to be buying this fight, who maybe were thinking not to beforehand? No, I don't think so. So him saying that he's going to retire, he says that because he knows he has a section of his fan base, not his fan base, just to clarify, he, he, he's got a phenomenal fan base, but he has a section of them who are complete morons. They will believe anything that Tyson Fury says and does. Oh, this is Tyson Fury's last fight with well, I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm not paying my mortgage this month and I'm going to go down to Wembley and buy a ticket. I'm going to make sure I click that red button on the pay-per-view. Is Tyson Fury going to retire? Well, if he does, it's, it, it'll be because Dillian White knocked him smooth out. If he beats Dillian White, no, of course he ain't going to retire. Why would he? when there's loads of money to be made out there. As for having $150 million in the bank, again, another lie on top of a lie. There's no way he's got $150 million in his bank. I mean, his five fight deal was for $100 million. A huge chunk of that goes missing when you're having to pay the tax man, when you're having to pay your management team and MTK Global and your two promoters, Bob Arum and Frank Warren and all other kinds of expenses. You're not left with too much left. Don't get me wrong, he's left with a very healthy bank balance, I'm not saying he's not, but $150 million, quit, you're lying. I don't know why he's lying so much. Anyway, it is one of the many things that I thought was going to happen. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go through the eight, just while we're here anyway, that uh, Tyson Fury, that I thought was going to happen at the press conference, and I'll point out the five that I got correct and the three that I did not get correct. So firstly... Tyson Fury will promote his Furiosity energy drink because he's a Spartan and he don't care about money. Well, sure enough, before even a word was spoken, when Tyson Fury sat down at the press conference, first thing he'd done, reached under the table, brought out a lot of his Furiosity energy drinks. Yep, these 500 mil cans that have 22 grams of sugar in each of them, apparently, which is, which is again, apparently more than Monster Energy Drink, Red Bull and all of them. Yeah, he sat there drinking water. So, either way, I got that correct. Tyson will be promoting his ferocity drink. Uh, the name Anthony Joshua will be mentioned. Now, I, I don't recall his name being mentioned. So, maybe I've got that one wrong. I'm sure somewhere, somewhere after the press conference and the interviews, he probably mentioned his name somewhere along the lines. But, hey, give it time. Before this fight date is approached on April 23rd, he would have mentioned Anthony Joshua's name 101 times, guaranteed. But, right now, I've got that one wrong. No problem. Dillian would be called a bum dosser 33 times. Of course, I'm exaggerating with the 33 times, but I don't actually recall him using the word dosser. So too, much to my dismay and surprise, he didn't use the word dosser. So I got that one wrong. So I'm one out of three so far, but we can either even up with two out of two that uh, John Fury will make a fool of himself. Sure enough, we've all seen that, that, that uh, Carl Frampton confrontation. What an absolute... As Tyson Fury would say, wet lettuce. Um, 
Tyson will say, I beat and took punches from the hardest hitting fighter in history, as in Deontay Wilder. So Dillian has no chance. Now, I am going to take that one. As much as Tyson Fury didn't say it at the press conference, Frank Warren did. So I am going to have that one. Sorry, but I am. Um, Tyson will contradict, will contradict himself 77 times. I don't know if it was 77 times, but it was sure quite a lot of times. He contradicted himself quite a lot, actually, in that one. Initially, he would say, Dilly White is nothing. He's no good. He's an easy fight. In the very next breath, Dillian is a dangerous opponent. He's a worthy contender. He's got a big left hook. He's a big, strong man. He's going to come to take my head off. It's going to be an interesting, hard fight. Huh. Contradictions right there. Okay, so again, I got that one right. Uh, Tyson will tease. This might be his last fight. Ah, there you go. We, we already covered that one. And the last one, which again, I got wrong. Bob Aaron will contradict Tyson Fury and say Dillian White is a dangerous fight. Bob Aaron didn't turn up. But, I mean, technically I could have it because Bob Aram standing, whatever that guy's name was, did say pretty much that. But, you know what, I'm not going to tell that one. Either way, five out of eight. I mean, one thing that I should have done in there, which um, I did think about before, is that um, if Tyson Fury comes out with some new sayings about Dillian White, about anything, there's going to be a whole bunch of sheep out there just regurgitating the same thing that Tyson Fury says. You know, like I did with Dosser and any man born of his mother and all this kind of stuff. You always get the sheep who can't think for themselves because they're incapable. Start flooding the comment section, repeating the words of Tyson Fury. Because they can't help it because they're sheep. They're not leaders, they're followers. Sure enough, Tyson Fury come out with the whole with the frilly knickers thing for Dillian, whatever it was. I forget the exact word. But sh sure enough, people are starting to say it in the comment section across social media. Bah! <laughs> absolute weirdos anyway Tyson Fury retiring yeah if Dillian White knocks him out and if he does cool you know what that's one less clown in boxing that we've really got to worry about isn't it or think about at least we'll actually get undisputed without excuses and lies that would be great anyway Tyson Fury says that he's going to be retiring will he retire as I said before if he loses to Dillian White yeah I think he will retire if he beats Dillian White, well, why would he? When there's potential for an undisputed fight there. Is he really going to walk away from that? No. But again, why is he saying it all? Because he's conning people again. Because he's lying. He can't help it. He's been taking some sips of that ferocity drink. He's lying again. He ain't retiring. He's full of it. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. And don't get any feelings about it. It's just my opinion. Catch you on the next video.